Hi there, this is Shallon at Love and Journaling, and today I'm going to be journaling Isaiah 49, 16. Behold, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are continually before me. Now I got this print and printed it on sticker paper from Charlene Warwick art on Etsy and it does come personalized with your name I just couldn't wait and so I printed it out and I um, have written my own name on it but Charlene did send me the design with my name on it um, and so I have I have another one I have taped off the area that I'm going to put the verse which is included in the printable kit as well as the top that says he knows my name i'm going to be painting the majority of the page with black acrylic paint i just used washi tape to tape off my edges of my sticker just so i didn't paint over them because i'm going to use um, watercolor to paint the top and then the square but right now I'm just going to be painting over the page and I am using my interleaved Bible. It is the English Standard Version and it is by Crossway. And this is my first entry in my interleaved Bible. Now an interleaved Bible has a blank page between each page of scripture front and back. And so you don't have to worry about covering the scripture as you are journaling but this this verse reminds me of the song by Francesca Battistelli Battistelli excuse me um, Francesca Battistelli yes that's it um, and it says I don't need my name in lights for I'm already famous in my father's eyes and I believe the title of that song is he knows my name and so, um, when I when I saw this kit on Charlene Warwick's Etsy site, I just had to have it. And so, as you can see, I just pulled my sticker. I'm just using washi tape to hold them down, just to, as kind of placeholders, and then just pulling those up. I, I printed all of this on white on clear. I'm sorry, clear sticker paper, and. <clears throat> So now I'm using my watercolors. I got this kit for less than $10 on Amazon and the colors are just so beautifully vibrant. And I did swatches so that I knew what color was what. As you can see, I'm just using a watercolor pen. It's a watercolor brush pen. And <clears throat> so I just add water to the end and use that I got a little confused here with what I was doing with my, <laughs> uh, because the way that the swatches are is opposite of the way that the colors run. So <laughs> I'm just using watercolor here. I like to use watercolor in my watercolor and acrylics really, because neither one of them bleed through to the other side, which if you've watched any of my other videos, you will see that um, and learn and know that bleed through does not bother me because it gives me a starting point on the other page. <laughs> so I use it as inspiration, but I just love the colors in this watercolor tin and I can squeeze out a little more water and move the color around, but it's so vibrant and bright and just for less than $10, I couldn't pass it up. So I just squeeze a little more water and, and kind of move that color around. Clean off my brush and, and go with another color. Of course, I want to use purple because that is my favorite color. And um, I want that to kind of be my title area and just continue to, to work the watercolor and move it around where it 
where I like it. If I don't want it so dark in one place, I'll just move it around. I am no expert. I am no uh, professional artist. I, I do what works for me and um, hopefully share my knowledge with, with anyone who is looking for different ways to do it. But I do utilize that watercolor brush pen because it is very convenient to have the water in the end and so I just continue to work that color around and move and um, so and you will see that as I dab I'm just trying to really kind of dry it because I didn't want to get my my heat gun or my blow dryer out <laughs> So I just dabbed it up a little bit. No big deal. It's water. And <clears throat> clean off my palette there. Put it all back together. And isn't it amazing that um, God tells us that he has our names written on the palms of his hands. And, you know, to think that to know that Jesus thought of us, thought of me, thought of you as he hung on the cross. It's just an amazing feeling. So I printed that on, on clear sticker paper and then realized, hey, it's not going to show up on black. <laughs> so I uh, put it on a piece of white cardstock and just fussy cut around it. And then I will attach it <laughs> to my black. I wasn't thinking. But that's okay. It it uh, it all works out. But <clears throat> you know when I when I think also about God saying to us, "Behold, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands." You know he he tells us in his word that many times that Jesus is at his right hand and that he holds us up with his right hand. And if you think about that, he holds us up with his right hand. Well, Christ is at his right hand. So we're being held up by Christ in our everyday life. And so many different um, scripture talks about God's right hand and how powerful it is. And then I also think about the, um, the song that I taught my kids and that we probably all sang as children he's got the whole world in his hands you know he's got the little bitty babies he's got the mamas and the daddies and the brothers and the sisters and um, he's got the whole world in his hands but he tells us that he has written our name on the palms of his hands it's just amazing what a good good father as you can see I've got tweezers in my hands and sometimes instead of using my nails to get clear sticker paper or even stickers off of their backing I will use little tweezers that I have crafting tweezers and it makes it a lot easier and um, not so damaging on my on my nails so next I'm going to take my gold Faber Castell pen and I'm just writing inside the white I used white acrylic pen to write my name and <coughs> excuse me and then used my gold Faber Castell pen to go inside of the white now I'm going to use that again and I'm going to write the verse behold I have engraved you on the palms of my hands and I would encourage you as you are on your journey and maybe you're learning, maybe you are um, an expert in journaling. A lot of people I see worry about their handwriting and their lettering and, you know, it needs to be this and it needs to be that. No, it doesn't. Like, love your handwriting. Here's why. I look back at notes that my grandparents have written me, that cards that my daddy wrote me. Um, cards and notes that my mom has written me and their handwriting means so much so if you are going to be 
giving this, leaving this as a legacy. Use your own handwriting and love it because your children, your grandchildren will love it and they will hold very special memories of you. So I'm just highlighting the verse. I, and I highlighted verse 15 as well. I hope you all enjoy. Bye.